the golf swing. What is it? Let's get after it. I have friends all over the world that are golf pros, that are in the business of helping you play better golf. And I would tell you that every man and woman that I know in this sport is absolutely trying to figure out what really counts in golf. So I've been directly involved with some really super smart PhD po folks who have some serious ability to investigate what's going on. Now here is the problem. I have asked this simple question. What do you want us to make absolutely certain every one of our students does? I asked this at Texas Women's University many years ago, Dr. Young Hu Kwan, biomechanist, and he's He's pretty cool, man. He's wrote his own program for biomechanical golf swing analysis. Really, really cool. Well, he kind of furrowed his eyebrows when he goes like this and he goes, ball impact. Now, you, the viewer, are going to go, Dunnigan, are you serious? And Dunnigan's going to go, yes, I'm serious. <laughs> you have to make sure you're hitting the ball solidly. So when we think about what is a golf swing, a golf swing is a use of the golf club to propel the ball that away. That's what a golf swing really is. What phases does it have? Well, it has an address. You got, you got to start somewhere, right? And there are, we, you've been over that with all my videos on the setup and stuff. There is a wind up, right? There is an unwinding and a club delivery and an outcome. It is that simple. Now, what else is really important? So we've got ball impact. Folks, if you can't hit it, forget it, All right? If you're not hitting it solid, don't worry about where it's going. Learn how to hit it solid first. Go check out these other videos to help you with that. But the next issue is this. I'm a Swing Catalyst Ambassador. I have the 3D uh, dual plate system, which is really cool. And one of the second things that seems to be holding terribly true, oh my gosh, folks, there's only two things that seem to be holding true. And that would be this kinetic sequence of from the backswing, you shift, turn, lift. Okay, that's the order. And on my system, I have a bunch of uh, the best players in the world. And that seems to be very, very repetitive. The only single person I have that doesn't exhibit that shift, turn, lift sequence is Matt Kuchar. But Matt Kuchar is this wide, 6'4", and hits it nowhere. And he's just got basically a turn motion. But the man wants to make sure it fades every time he hits it. Okay, fine. And he hits it far enough to have one hell of a career as a golfer. Fine. But he sure doesn't hit it far for his size. Well, that's because the shift turn lift sequence is not there, in my opinion. And you're paying me a lot of money for my opinion, right? Okay, so now we have ball impact. We have the kinetic sequence, right? Shift, turn, lift. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Now I've put my track man up here. This, I've, I'm gonna try this. I can't line up everything correctly for you because, well, it doesn't do that in the track man range. But here's, if you think about it, Right? If I've got the idea of complete mastery of ball contact, that's landing our airplane out in front of the golf ball out here, right? So, hey, wait a minute, that shift, turn, and lift sequence has everything to do with that, doesn't it? If I have my weight on my back foot, hitting the golf ball solidly is damn near impossible. You'd have to be a world-class talent to pull that off. Well, we're talking about golf, right? But then you go, wait a minute, Dunnigan, you've got to come up with a shot like this. Now, this is not going to go anywhere, right? Now I've got to come up with a shot of about a yard or two, right? Now I've got to come up with a shot. Oh, no, I've forgotten the distances. Uh, let's say that we've got about 40 is my guess. Oh, that could be good. 
beautiful. And now we've got another shot. Okay, next green over there. Get on that green ball. Oh, overshot it, folks. I guess I should have picked what yardages there were first. This one I know is like 165. Because it says it on the screen. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. Oh, baby. That was solid. Oh, baby. That's going to be good. Hey, I'll take that one. Now, folks, I'm going to have to drive this into the woods because I don't have enough golf course over there. Yep, and I'm off there. I'm going to try to hit a little bit left. Oh, baby, he lost a little bit of bounds, but he just murdered that golf ball. Yay. Well, wait a second. All those shots right there have slightly different feels, right? So now you've got to go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The boy just made one, two, three, at least four different golf swings. See, here's where I think we have it wrong in this industry. We think that the golf swing is everything. Oh, but wait, wait, let's go backward a phrase here. Okay, turns out it was only 107 to that second flag. So now 107, man, I don't know if I can hit my 50 degree club 107 anymore. I don't think I can. But it ain't no pitching wedge, that's for darn sure, because that one goes about 125 to 130. Huh, now I've got to come up with an in-between shot, a little bit less backswing. Just think about what we're talking about here, folks. Less. Oh, I flushed that, folks. Oh, get down. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm putting, at least. Well, if you really think about this in the same fashion, it turns out that other than your wind-up, your shift, turn, and lift, your club face angle, and your swing direction, that's really all there is to it. I've got further news for you. It turns out that you are built different than I. Uh, I'm built like a brick. So you'll see me make a swing that you don't see on TV. I'm 57. They're not. You'll see me kind of swing back, swing through all together. It, it's what happens, okay, as we get older. That said, I firmly believe that if you can work on the shift, turn, lift sequence, that's the golf swing. If you can then deliver the club so it lands out in front of the golf ball, that's the golf swing part two. If you can then square the face, that's the golf skill. And hit it in the middle of the face, that's more golf skill. You get this game. Furthermore, when you are simply trying to perfect the swing, I gotta tell you a story. My stories are all true. I'm in Arizona. Many tour golfers ask me about practice, I'm talking practice. And I go, well, what do you do when you practice? He's not really performing as well. He goes, you know, I, I, I hit a lot of balls. I go, cool. You hit a lot of six irons? Yup. Hmm. How far hit a six iron? 200. Cool. How many 200 yard shots did you have last round? And he goes like this. Oops. None. So there he is working the golf swing. Get it? Not the golf skill, right? But practicing a shot that didn't even occur in a round of golf. You see what I'm talking about here? He's practicing his golf swing mechanics instead of his golf shots. You gotta understand something. Look at, look, we're gonna have this shot. You understand this. We're gonna take this out. Now I've got 20 miles an hour worth of wind. I'm gonna lean into this one. I'm gonna chip this up there, the 107 yard. I'm gonna go like this. That ball, oh, oh my goodness. That's a goodie right there, folks. Hello, golf, right? That ball came out like a bullet. I have to have that shot. Oh no. Oh no. Now I gotta get this golf ball. I gotta, this is what we call the poop hook back here. I'm a, and it's a pitching wedge. I'm gonna hit a poop hook around this tree out there. Watch this guy go. Folks, those are all different golf swings. Look at that thing hook in. Hello, golf. Those are all different golf swings according to the people in the world but actually when we look at it the same way right golf's insane right now 
all this, well, you heard it, right? Look at it the same way. What really matters is my ability to hit the ball solidly and predict the flight. What is involved in that is the shift turn lift sequence, right? Your address position, of course. Of course, if you don't have club face control, you might check your grip. Those are, those are all the things. People's trying to skip all of that stuff and go, well, if I put my backswing exactly back like this and I turn 95.7 degrees, I will have a great golf swing. That's a load of crap, folks. It doesn't work that way. What I need you to do, what you need you to do, right, is this. I need to work my golf skills out. All right? Now, you have to wind up. If your turn is 80 degrees, oh, you're Tony Finau. If your turn is 115, oh, you're Rory McIlroy. Who's better? Well, whoever makes more putts that week. If you look at the variation in golf swings on tour and you start to make sense of this, you go, oh my gosh, none of these guys swings the same way. What is in common? Ball impact, shift, turn, lift, sequence, All right? Club face control after that, face to path control. And they hit the middle of the face. I think you should spend your time on these things and these things only, not trying to match pictures that you see on TV. Especially, you know, I remember the time where everybody was teaching Tiger Woods golf swing. Well, you can't swing like Tiger unless you're built like Tiger and have his, not built like him, have his range of motion, flexibility, strength, which you don't. So let's get away from this the golf swing crap and talk about the golf skills. All right, get after it.